lovely Amy, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Here is your solstice four card reading. You're specifically talking about love, so that'll definitely be an emphasis. But here we are. North, we have our spiritual and emotional illumination, and this is the element of water. And you are the king of cups, or you have the king of cups. Cups is all about spirituality, all about the heart, all about emotions. The king is the master of his domain. He is the one who sets the rules. He is the one who sets the boundaries. He is the one who decides what is best for him and his kingdom. Um, you are the one who sets the rules for yourself, for your own heart, for your own um, spiritual body. And I think a lot of times we get stuck in these ideas of other people's rules or um, the monogamous church, you know, dictated way of things. And sometimes we have to look past that and trust that our heart is guiding us and becoming master of our hearts, becoming master of our spiritual realms, understanding what's best for us and our spiritual um, illumination and groundedness. So you're really coming into this goddess energy as this kind of king, but you're the one who sets your own rules. You're the master of your own heart domain, so take mastery of that. Don't let someone else uh, take hold of that for you. You have to be the one to hold that for yourself. We have the West, which is Earth manifestation on the physical plane. We have the Seven of Wands. Seven is a number of spirituality, the seven chakras of the body, the seven days of the week, seven days of creation. Wands are all about fire energy, the element of fire, uh, creative passions, willpower. Our manifestation on the physical plane, you're really manifesting these spiritual gifts of yours. You're really being able to think, pull, dream, imagine, visualize, trust, manifest. Things are happening, um, and you have to trust that your highest spiritual good is manifesting on the spiritual plane and you are creating this structure for yourself and this um, that you are guided you are given these sp gifts of the spirit that are illuminating your own path and also illuminating others as a spiritual leader as a spiritual business owner uh, as an aquarius age of aquarius person so Yeah, manifest that fire energy. There's fire energy here, but this is in the east of Earth. So really grounding that. Burn, you know, having a ton of shit to burn, a ton of wood to burn. Um, you know, you have all this fuel ready to be burned, but don't burn it all at once. Like you have logs that you can put on the fire, you know, keep that fire going, keep that passion going and burning. And that is all tying in with your love life too, becoming one with your spiritual side. You know, all of that is related, related, relatable. In the south of the element of fire are passionate and creative and creative impulses. We have the high priestess. Oh, what a beautiful card the high priestess is. She is the holder of the book of truth, the book of knowledge, the scroll of knowledge. She is in front of the veil of the holy of holies that um, veil of the other side, the spiritual realm being there in that direct communion with God and the crown of knowledge that she wears uh, proudly interpreting those signals being sent to us from above those guidance and higher messages. <clears throat> your passionate and creative impulses are guided by your spiritual side, by your desire to become a priestess in the temple of your choosing the priestess of knowledge, the holder of knowledge, you know, there's sacred, there's a sacredness to opening yourself to being a temple of the priestess of the knowledge of this plane that we're in and of the higher dimensions. And so in doing such too, you're not one that can share your energy with just anyone. And it's okay to follow your guidance and spiritual path. Uh, and to hold your energy as sacred and become sacred and, be, and trust that sacredness of yourself and your body 
and really coming into that sacredness, really ritualizing that purity of yourself, that mind of yourself, you know, sex as a spiritual act, not just a physical one. Uh, so, yeah. Lastly, for the East element of air, we have our thoughts, words, writings, thoughts, writings, words, and debates. We have the Four of Cups. Four is a number of foundation, of fate, of structure, building that foundation. You're building a spiritual foundation. Cups are all about spiritualism. Cups tie in with the King of Cups as well. You're really building that spiritual foundation for yourself. You're really building that spiritual family, that business that is going to support you, that is related to uh, your spiritual side. I just feel, you know, I'm in the same boat. I feel so grateful to have found tarot and the fact that people are reaching out and the way that they have about this. And um, So please let me know what you think about this reading um, in the video form because this is what I'm doing now, is specifically video readings, so that I really can interpret the message in that time, be able to have the card shown, you are interpreting it with me, sharing that energy with me. Finding that foundation, too, that's what I'm looking for. You know, tarot is great. Now I'm like, okay, I can kind of rely on full moon and new moon readings. I have people who are generously supporting those, and now I have, you know, a following that I want to grow, and this is something that I definitely am going to take with me. But finding that spiritual foundation, really grounding that in your thoughts, writings, actions, writing more about it, getting your thoughts out more, making more videos, making more communications, reaching out, talking to people, having conversations. That's where that network is going to continue to grow and expand and help build that spiritual foundation for you and also reaching out to others who you admire and wanting to emulate. And uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope this solstice reading was good for you. I'll show you the cards so you can see them, interpret them. I'm doing a solstice candle blessing for myself and and uh, I'm just very grateful for all the friends and the amazing capacity that is the internet and our ability to communicate with one another across time and space.